Hey everyone, it's Sienna and welcome to my college nighttime routine. So this video is actually sponsored by Audible, which is so exciting because this is my first sponsored video and I love reading books and listening to books and I literally couldn't think of a better sponsor. So thank you so much Audible. If you don't know what Audible is, it is an audiobook service that provides actually the biggest selection of audiobooks in the world, which is pretty cool. And you can listen like on your phone, on your computer, just like on the go, going to work. As a student, I don't really find enough time for like pleasure reading or just like fun reading on my own. And even with like books for class, it's like really tough to sneak in time. Like a lot of times, like I would take like textbooks to the gym and I've seen people do that or take their laptops and everything. And so now with Audible, I've actually been able to listen to audiobooks like while I'm on the go, like walking to class. If you want a 30 day free trial just for you guys, you could go to audible.com slash Sienna, so S-I-E-N-N-A, or text Sienna to 500500, which is pretty cool because I have my own little name. <laughs> yeah, I feel very special. So as an Audible member, you will get three free audiobooks a month. So you get one of your choice and then two Audible originals, which you can only find on Audible, which is pretty cool. When you do your 30 day free trial, you'll get one free book of your choosing. So you can choose literally anything. So there's self-help books, there's mysteries. There's also like audio fitness programs. Like there's a whole ton of stuff, every book that you can think of. So you get one of your choosing if you sign up. And I've started listening to You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero and she actually narrates it, which is amazing. And so many people recommended this to me and I just didn't really feel like I had the time to read it because I really wanted to like listen and absorb and parse through everything. Um, and so I've been listening to it on the go, which has been amazing. And I'll just be like walking through class and then <laughs> she'll say something like super inspirational every three minutes. And I'll just be like, oh my gosh, wait, that's incredible. It really helps with my day. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. So. First, when I come back from a pretty long day of classes, I just like to take my backpack off, take my shoes off, unpack everything, just like get my planner out and my computer. So when I come back, I just like to fully arrive and kind of unpack everything. Um, and then I usually just like sit down at my desk and pull out my computer, go over some emails, maybe do a little bit of editing, kind of look at what homework I have to do for the day, what's going on the next day, just kind of get my life back on track, set up, and like here you can see I'm doing some editing of my spring break vlog, which should be up pretty soon. And then I usually like to take a little bit of a break from school, so I'll just kind of like lay around in my bed. Here I'm probably watching like a BTS run episode and texting my friends and just kind of chilling out. So um, now that I'm done lazing around and <laughs> taking a little break from classes, I'm going to change into something warmer because it's a little bit cool outside and then go meet one of my really good upperclassmen friends for dinner. So I usually walk there while listening to an audiobook because Everything is within a walking distance in Harvard Square, which is amazing. And then we went to this place called Border Cafe, which is a Mexican restaurant, which is a pretty big favorite among students. Eating my chip? Yes. Look okay, at you, so cute. This is Made. This is my really good upperclassman friend, and I love her so much. And so we like to get dinner a lot together. And then after I'm heading over to my friend's dorm, which is about a 20 minute walk away. So I like to listen to an audiobook and I'm listening to You're a Badass, as I said before, which is amazing. And I like to listen to it on sometimes 1.25 speed because then I get through it faster. So now I'm just in my friend Hannah's room. She's my big, I'm in Alpha Phi, and these are all Alpha Phi girls, and we're just kind of hanging out and chilling. I'm older girls are drinking wine, and I'm eating popcorn, of course. And we're all just kind of catching each other up on our days and our weekends and looking forward to going out together. I always have a blast with them. I love them so much. And then when I get home, it's kind of late. It's like midnight, so I instantly put on some comfy clothes and sweatpants because I love them and I put on my fuzzy slides and then I'm literally always listening to music so I always put some on when I'm getting ready for bed put my hair up into a bun get it off of my face use a little scrunchie and then I take 
take off my makeup. Whoops, just dropped that. And then I put on this little cute bear headband because it keeps my hair off my face. And then we have hallway bathrooms, but it's literally right across from our door. So I just go over there, hang on my face towel and brush my teeth, usually while dancing like a crazy person to some form of K-pop music. Typical night in Xana's life. <laughs> And then I always make sure to wash my face no matter how tired I am because it's so important. Get all the makeup off and then I always pat my face dry, never rub. All clean. And then I just do my skincare routine. So this is like toner and I'm pretty vigilant with my skincare routine. I never skip it. And then serum, patting it on. This takes me forever, but it's worth it. <laughs> All glowy. And then I just put on a lip sleeping mask and goof off some more. <laughs> and then retie my hair in a ponytail. And then always, always before bed, I go out to the water fountain and fill up my water bottle. Make sure to drink it throughout the night and the next morning. And then I always fill up my humidifier because I have it on all day and all night. And then I use this like happy essential oil from Muji and put that in because it smells really nice. And then just put that back on and turn it on and turn on the light. And then I always like to set myself up for the next day for classes, so I put whatever materials that I will need, usually my planner, my pencil case, and then I will go over in my planner the next day and write out everything that I have to do, my schedule. Um, here I have to wake up, study for my Korean midterm at breakfast, and then edit a video later in the day. And then I'll just check email again. It's literally like another form of social media. In college, you're always checking your email. It's kind of funny. And then we'll probably end up laughing at something one of my roommates said and kind of goofing off and getting distracted and then going back to my schedule. And then I always try to like wind down at night and not be thinking about school. So sometimes I'll go on YouTube and watch like a YouTube video. And then if it's not too late, sometimes I'll watch a show before bed. So lately I've been really getting into like stand-up comedy. So this is Ali Wong's Baby Cobra, which I highly recommend. And then I'll just plug in my phone, make sure it's all charged, set my alarm for the day. Usually have to set like two or three just in case so I don't miss class in the morning. Make sure it's on and I'll hear it. And then we'll usually just go through social media and go on Instagram and then force myself to get off and then we'll end up going on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is my weakness, honestly. And then I try to get off because I don't like to do too many screens before bed. And then I'll just turn out my light and try to get like eight hours of sleep. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Love you, bye.